she's extremely collaborative and generous. And um, so it's not even just uh, not even getting to just be a spectator of her greatness, but also getting kind of brought into that to that circle with her um, as an equal, which is thrilling. Talking to you guys about Hacks season two. It's really exciting. Congratulations on getting a new season. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Carl, so in season two, uh, Deborah, Vance, and Ava are on the road at the start, mm-hmm. and Marcus is still in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. Uh, were you excited to see how Carl's story would still be weaved in despite Deborah and Ava being far from your location? Yeah, Marcus, Marcus being uh, kind of isolated and removed from that was interesting it's not that i was uh, thinking about how it was going to be weaved in i knew they're going to do it because well that's the gig but i i did really like how it was done and i also like how they were able to rejoin that was really lovely and uh mark your part is great as damien is greatly expanded too since you're joining deborah and ava on the road from the beginning Uh, Mm -hmm. What did you learn from Jean Smart working in such close quarters with her uh, this season? Well, I mean, every day working with Jean is, uh, you know, you're learning something. Um, I I think that I have such, uh, I I admire her so much and and I, um, you know, also, to respect your, your elders in that way and to admire them and like, and to watch them. You know, I think that I never think for one second when I'm working with Jean, which, you know, I'm lucky enough that mostly all of my work this in last season and this season is with Jean. Um, you know, I never take for granted for a second that I'm working um, alongside one of the best. So I, I definitely, um, you know, I'm constantly watching her and, um, and she's also just extremely generous with her time. You know what I mean? Like if I have a question or if she feels so strongly to, to, to say like, Hey, what do you, what do you think about this? You know, like I, she's extremely collaborative and generous. And, um, so it's not even just, uh, not even getting to just be a spectator of her greatness, but also, getting kind of brought into that, to that circle with her um, as an equal, which is thrilling. And Carl, your story starts off this season where Marcus is very conflicted again with the work-life balance. Mm-hmm. And he, he's trying to repair the relationship with Wilson too. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you think about, uh, are, are you rooting for those two, for your two characters to get back together? <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm. This season? Yeah, I'm definitely rooting for them. Um, but even more than that, I'm rooting for Marcus to get to where he needs to be to allow that to happen. You know, I, I, what I don't want is just as a person, I don't want, I don't like seeing someone making the same mistakes. That's no fun. So um, I'm, I'm rooting for Marcus to, to get his together. And then if that includes Wilson, that'd be wonderful. That would be just so wonderful. And your characters are also learning equal stuff from Ava too. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, how how has it been to see uh, Hannah Einbinder sort of grow into that role? This is her first big part. Uh, how has it been? How exciting has it been to see her working through uh, the role? Well, she um, works extremely hard. Yes. Yes. And um, she is not. You know, I. Uh, it's there's always this assumption. I think when when. Uh, when someone kind of uh, emerges onto the scene in a way that feels very, very fast, as if it just kind of happened for them. And Hannah Einbinder is not one of those people. Um, She has put in so much work um, and has, uh, you know, and, and, and has done her homework and has also um, been extremely collaborative, I think with, with everyone, I mean, of course, mostly Jean, because she works with Jean the most. But I mean, even when we were filming the first season, you know, asking Carl and I 
Um, and, and anyone that has had a little bit more experience in this kind of context of, of the entertainment industry, this kind of world of making film and television, you know, she's also uh, an extremely inquisitive person. So she's, you know, I'm, I, every single accolade and flower that she has been given, she has earned and, and truly, truly deserves in my eyes because oh. she's done her homework and, you know. Working. Well, also, she's been doing, we got to see her her show last year when we were in hiatus last summer. Mm-hmm. And something I told her backstage then, yes, you're a stand-up comedian, but she's been doing a one-woman show for several years now. Like, it's a, it's mm-hmm. a full production situation. So she has she has the performance shop. She has the, the she's put in the hours, both, and, and Mark said, the work, both in this project and in her previous artistic endeavors. Well, Carl and Mark, it was great speaking with you today. And I as well, Daniel. Best of luck for the rest of the season. Thank you so much. Yeah.